Hello everyone, XB here from youtube.com slash xbroguegaming and this is the 13th video in a weekly series I'm doing for Dota Cinema designed to take your game to the next level. Congratulations to this week's winner, Wolf Stands, for posting a suggested topic in the comments for last week's tutorial. Remember that your topic doesn't need to be the one chosen. All you have to do to win is be subscribed to my channel and let me know something you'd like to learn about. This week's video is the first of a new format. Based on the feedback I've received, I'll be keeping the Learn Dota 2 episodes more basic and geared towards newer players. Not to leave the more experienced players out though, every Monday I will be releasing an advanced guide on my channel for the same or an encompassing topic for players who want to learn more in depth. Now without more delay, this week's episode is on armor. Armor reduces the amount of physical damage a unit takes. The higher your armor value, the more it reduces. Typically, it's only ever a positive number, but it can also increase the amount of damage taken if its value falls into the negative. Armor is increased by agility, certain abilities, and some items. There are five different types of armor and six different types of damage. Light, medium, heavy, fortified, and hero armor, as well as normal, piercing, siege, chaos, hero, and magic damage. Each armor type interacts with the damage sources in unique ways, but for this video, we're only going to concern ourselves with hero armor. Beyond the reduction shown on the interface, hero armor also reduces piercing and normal damage, the typical damage types of creep, by an additional 25%, and magic damage, regardless if from creep or enemy hero, by a flat 25%, regardless of its value. First off, unlike some mechanics, armor value does stack from multiple sources and is the sum total of all items, abilities, and attributes that can contribute. Also, a lot of players misinterpret armor gains and think that its point-for-point -point effectiveness diminishes as it increases, but this isn't actually the case. While the printed percentage growth shrinks per point of value increased, its impact remains identical point-for-point. -point. Simply put, ignoring the printed percentage for reduction each point of armor equates to a 6% increase in effective hit points, which is a measurement of damage needed to kill the hero. For clarification, let's look at some examples. A hero with 0 armor has 0% reduction. Assuming they had 1000 hit points, it would take 1000 physical damage to kill them. Now let's add 10 armor, granting a 37.5% reduction. Assuming they had 1000 hit points, to kill them would now take 1600 damage. This is a 60% increase in effective hit points, and because of using even numbers, works out to 600 EHP gained. Now let's look at how it scales. Doubling the armor value to 20, we now have a 54.5% damage reduction. Note that while the relative percentage does not double, we still double the effective hit point gain. Assuming they had the same 1000 hit points, at 20 armor to kill them would now take 2200 damage. This is a 120% increase in effective hit points, or 1,200 EHP gained. This shows us that the benefits of armor remain constant in effectiveness regardless of value up to a maximum of plus 85% reduction. With this in mind, armor is an important stat to consider for survival. As health pools grow, it can be a more effective way to increase your durability than just adding more hit points. This is because armor is multiplicative and hit points are just additive. For example, our hero from before with 1000 hit points and 0 armor will gain 12% EHP or 120 effective hit points by buying a ring of protection, whereas a gauntlet of strength would only be worth 5.7% EHP or 59 effective hit points. This difference in gain becomes even more apparent at higher health pools. At 2,000 hit points, the same hero would still gain 12% EHP, now worth 240 effective hit points, versus the gauntlet's inferior and static 59 hit points. The inverse is also true. The higher your physical damage, the more worthwhile it is to invest in negative armor effects. This multiplies your damage instead of adding linearly. Note though that armor can never be reduced below negative 20, which equates to a 71% increase in damage received. While there is more that can be said on armor and ways to maximize your effective hit points, I hope you found this video useful for taking your game to the next level. 
Remember that it's you who decide the topic, so be sure to post in the comments below what you'd like to see and subscribe to my channel to be eligible to win chest keys. As always though, if you like this video, please thumbs up, share, and join me on Monday on my channel for an advanced guide to armor as well as other exclusive content and contests. Until next week, this is XV, signing out.